Setting the time limit and enforcing it means that the student must complete the quiz within that time limit. Setting the late submission as auto submit attempt means the student cannot complete any more questions after the time limit has passed. However, if you wish to allow the students unlimited time on a quiz, leave the settings, leaving, leave the setting the time limit enforced unchecked and the late submission to allow normal submission. So to set the time limits on these, I'm going to go ahead to the quiz and navigate to it by clicking on the Submission Review tab and clicking Quizzes. I'm going to click on the name of the quiz, in this case Chapter 10 Quizzes, which will bring me into the Edit area. I'm going to click on the Restrictions tab and I may need to scroll down a little bit until I see the time limit. So to set the time limit, I'm going to enter the, the amount of time that I want on the quiz. In this case, I'm going to choose 20 minutes. I'm going to click the checkbox Enforced and the Show Clock button will also be checked. Again, the Enforced checkbox means that the students must complete this quiz within that time limit. I'm going to set the late submission, that's what the late submission is here, as auto submit. Now it makes sense to use auto submit if you're enforcing the time limit. If you allowed normal submission, that would allow the users to submit their quiz regardless of the time limit. If you happen to have a time limit that was enforced and had allow normal submission, then that would allow the student to submit it even after the time limit but would be flagged as late. So again, for best practices, if you're going to set a time limit and enforce it, use the auto submit attempt. When you get that all done, click the save and close button.